I'd like to discuss color in Photoshop. Photoshop offers several different color modes that you can work in and they're all available right here in the color picker. Everybody should be familiar with the default picker which is the hue saturation brightness uh, color model. Uh, in this control right here we have all the various hues from starting from pure red through yellow, green, cyan, blues, magentas, and back to red again. This is the famous color circle. Now most of you are probably content to live with this arrangement. I mean it's pretty straightforward. You have the brightness of the color going from blacks at the bottom all the way to the brightest intensities up at the top and the saturation from the left which is zero saturation all the way up to full saturation on the right side so from left to right you have saturation values and from the bottom to the top you have the brightness values and you can see as you pick the color over here I'm about two-thirds of the way in and almost all the way to the top so I have a brightness of 97 percent and a saturation of 65 percent if I move to the right I'm increasing the saturation if I move up I'm going all the way to the brightness or move down I'm going closer into the blacks and this is a simple way to pick colors but there's a lot more going on in this dialog box than meets the eye. Uh, this little radio button selects the hues as the most prominent part of the color that you're picking. If you switch this over to saturations, now you have the hues going from the left to the right and the brightnesses from bottom to top and the saturation stay all the same. Now this is really a good deal if, if you're, you're trying to pick a color theme or color scheme uh, where you'll have picked uh, say this kind of orange for one color and you want to come up with a complementary color and you move over here and you pick another color and they are the same overall tonal weight. So picking color through saturation, if you're picking color schemes, this is a pretty good deal. You can just use this as um, your primary consideration. Now if we move down one more in, in the brightnesses, you'll see that you pick your brightnesses in this control here Hues again from left to right, and now you have saturations from top to bottom. Let's see what happens when we move down into the RGB model. Here we have zero red in the color. And this swatch here contains all the greens and all the blues from black to maximum brightness. So if we move on up here, we see that the brightness is 100% and the saturation is 100%. So brightnesses change, but saturations are all nailed at 100%. As we move the red dial up, you'll see the saturation start coming down and the available colors in the swatch start changing as we move into the reds. And coming all the way up slowly, we'll see how red blends with green to create yellow to the magentas with the blending with blue. Moving down to the green, we have the same kind of thing. 
we set green down to zero and we have the other two primaries this gradient that goes from the red to the blue primary as we infuse these colors with green moving up we start shading into the yellows here to the cyans here and down with the blue we'll have the other primaries the red and the green and we start infusing blues into these colors and we expect to move from cyan to magenta and that's exactly the case cyan to magenta blues here and white up here the RGB model is what is used in um, HTML programming, you know, designing web pages and stuff. And if you know the color that you need, you can just go ahead and type it in here. Like for a light blue. Let's move back to this model. Or say we need an orange, a bright orange. This first um, part of the HTML color is the red component. The middle two will be the green component. And the last two will be the blue component. And I'm going to get into more of this shortly. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and move over to that. Every pixel on a monitor has three sub-elements. Um, basically they're little lights that glow and one of them is red one is green and one is blue and when these are turned on at varying intensities then they blend together to create the color that you see on the pixel on the monitor now I have a list of some general rules for RGB When all the sub-elements are at their maximum setting, the color is white. When all sub-elements are zero, which is the same as they're all turned off, the color is black. When all sub-elements have the same value of intensity, the color is a shade of gray, the saturation is zero, and the brightness is determined by the intensity of any one of the sub-elements. Let me show you what I mean. I'll come over here and now I will select all three and scale them up. I have all three of these elements at their maximum setting in HTML color that's FF, 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 and the resultant color is a pure bright white. As I scale these down, I start going through the shades of gray. Now the brightness of this gray is whatever any one of these elements is that they're all the same but it only counts once come on down all the way down through to zero 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 zero, zero and that turns everything off and we have pure black 